The northern counties of the UK are known for their beautiful landscapes and iconic stone houses. Now, in today's episode, we're bringing you exactly that. With modern interiors, this newly built home was designed by 117 architects sympathetically to fit in with the surrounding houses. Now, join me in this episode where not only are we giving you a full tour of this home, but we'll introduce you to the owners and the architects behind this incredible project. I'm Tom, and you're watching The Luxury Home Show. My name is Mark Lee, I'm the partner at 117 Design. Um, we were the architects and interior designers for the whole project. It sort of started on the back of, we were commissioned to look at the original cottages that were on this site. I knew Andrew and Liz from way back and I knew they lived in the barn and I just sort of suggested to them that they might like to consider building a new house and it sort of went from there really. The original cottage had a beautiful ashlar frontage which is a, a flat faced stone which just looked amazing. Was something we decided on fairly early on that we would try and use as much of that ashlar as possible on the front of the uh, on the building so it sort of dictated a fairly formal facade at the entrance welcome to the front entrance now i'm going to take a quick step outside because we can see the reclaimed ashlar they've used from the old cottage that used to be here we've gone through these amazing columns and inside you can see stained glass up above that almost period correct design continues inside. We've got panelling and this acts as a kind of boot room. So we've got a, a doormat material actually embedded into the flooring here. Loads of practical storage for all of your jackets, coats, shoes, that type of thing. And then a couple of seats as well for putting your shoes on. But we're going to step up now. Now there's a combination of build materials used in the property that really fit the aesthetic of an old agricultural building, but also period correct. It's locally sourced stone, some oak on the flooring, and then with the exception of some more contemporary touches like the glazing, it creates an exceptional space. So the ceiling heights increase massively here. One of the focal points of the home is this staircase. And we're gonna to touch on that in more detail, but firstly, let's go through into the kitchen. The home is definitely set up to entertain. Just wait until you see the incredible party barn that's just behind Jazz. Even in the kitchen, that continues. So we've got the, the wine cooler just down there, loads of integrated appliances. Now, if I open up these, look, we've got the Neff microwave, giant air fryer, all of this stuff is tucked away, super neat, so you don't have to see it all the time, but you've still got everything you need. Ambient lighting up above, spotlights. Lighting is so key, and it makes this space look amazing. So we've got Siemens integrated ovens, then we've got the Bora venting hob just here. No overhead extractor fan, so you've got room for speakers. This is for entertaining. I can't stress it enough. <laughs> the sink is oversized. We've got the cooker, boiling hot water tap, and then we have the freezer and fridge just here. One of the things I love in this kitchen is that all of these units are kind of set back and with the ambient lighting too, it creates a wider space here. They're really glossy too, just adds to that feeling of light and air, spaciousness, and that is what luxury is. So now we're heading on into the snug. A less formal space with some really nice pops of color actually. So we've got the rug and the sofa that are both from Roche Bobois. Hopefully I'm saying that right, French brand some beautiful interior pieces. And we have not only a great spot to sit and watch TV, but incredible views. So we've actually seen some lambs coming past this window. We've got a dual aspect window and then a beautiful sliding door opens up this side to a nice patio area where you can enjoy some outside dining. There's some really nice interior touches in here as well that just contribute to that more intimate feel. The really low set coffee table in this dark wood. We've got a lot of dark ash wood throughout this house. So the table really fits with that. This is a lamp from Diesel actually. So if you didn't know they made lamps, they do. Now, as we approach the other side of the kitchen, you can see this really interesting detail here. This reflective and kind of tinted brown glass gives the illusion that this island is floating. And these kitchen stools are from a brand called Ale Moore. The chrome details, the dark wood and the leather all matches the color scheme and the aesthetic of that kitchen. Now come on through. The ceiling lowers over the dining table. It's really positioned well to make the most of those views. And with the, again, the dual aspect window here, we can see all the way around. We've got a low hanging feature light just sat nicely above this for a beautiful ambient vibe during dinner. And this is a bow concept table, bow concept table and chairs actually. This is a Fiorentina it's called. And it's a mixture of this ash gray lacquer, but also the ash gray ceramic material. 
And then the chairs are called Vienna. Again, a nice splash of color just to brighten things up. So we're gonna switch from the, the wood flooring again now up onto these stone steps. Now these stone tiles actually flow all the way from inside to the outside of this space. You can open up the doors completely, but we're gonna start the, the tour of the party barn with, you know, one of the, the main features. The silestone bar is what catches my eyes immediately. It's really chunky. It's like very thick, but soft curves, almost like it's inflated, you know, and it sits nicely above the, the darker surface that we have on the worktops. The fluted touches are really nice. We've got a lot of cladding, vertical cladding in this party barn, and it contributes to those vertical lines. Even down here, we can see in front of the bar stools, we have this kind of like fluted glass detail there, and we are pretty kitted out. Now this is a bespoke unit that 117 actually created. All of these brass details. It's giving like gentleman's club, the brass touches, even on the light fittings here, very ambient in the evenings. I can imagine this is where the party's at. And a nice touch, very well thought out, is a bathroom just down here. So you don't have to trek through the house when you're having a bit of a session. You know, you can just pop through here next to the bar and then grab a drink on the way out after you've broken the seal. The bar stools carry on the theme that really fits in with this. This is the barn extension and from the outside, it's supposed to look, you know, like a real agricultural barn. Um, and then we've got leather on top. So a material that is very familiar to barns, but then also the dark ash wood that we've seen around. These are from Caligaris and they're called Oleandro. But now let's have a turn so you can see this space. This is probably one of my favorite features in the house. The, the focal point, if you will, this is an area that was really important for Liz and Andrew to have a very sociable couple that love entertaining, but also an area of the property I imagine the architects had a great deal of fun when designing. Andrew and Liz are bubbly, bubbly characters, and we had a we had a, a lot of fun when we were doing the sketches. And we ended up with this idea of a sort of what we've commonly termed as a as a sort of party barn. The idea of the party barn and the sort of lounge from distance was. The party barn was designed to look like an old agricultural building. So it's got the fibre cement roof, it's got the timber cladding. So that from a distance, when you look at the, the, the house in context, it looks like a farmhouse and barn that's been there for years and years. But it, it will do in five years, it's still looking a bit sort of raw. The idea is you've a room inside a bigger shell. So that the party barn is inside and then the building is outside. This is the beauty of, of what we're allowed to do for these type of clients. Um, it gives us the opportunity to create something special. The floor in the, the party barn is natural stone from the quarry that's less than five miles away from here. Um, the oak is, you know, it's just English oak. It's got a beautiful sawn raw finish with a lovely shadow line detail. It, it's different widths at different panel sizes. It looks really natural, but every single thing has been drawn. And I think that's the beauty of a scheme when you, when you sort of come and sit in it and it feels effortless. The, the effort is there, but it's not obvious. At the end of the day, we're trying to create not just a piece of architecture, but something that's a home. And it's really important that it's a home for them when we've gone. My name's Andrew. Hi, and I'm Liz. We've been together 38 years, lived in this area all of our lives in a number of different houses. Decided after a little bit of uh, chatting about it to, uh, to build a brand new house. You thought it was a good idea, but I was very happy where we were in the first place. Uh, but then thought, well, we're in a lucky position that we're able to um, build our own house. So I thought, oh, you only get the chance once, so off we went. I think we wanted to take advantage of those fantastic views for a start. So, I mean, that was one of the main reasons. I've always wanted a bar in a house anyway, <laughs> so that was uh, a stipulation for me, really. And because of the glass, when you, you can pull it all back, so as you see the stone out there, it, it sort of doubles the, uh, the space. Now we're gonna head back towards the front entrance and the front portion of the home because we've got three more rooms to show you down here. And the first of those is going to be this formal lounge. So come on in. This is definitely the room you'd come and watch a movie. It's a little bit more removed from the rest of the house. And this media wall is certainly a focal point, but I like how the furniture in here is really quite cohesive. The sofa, the armchairs, the rug are all from a company called Holly Hunt. But let's talk about this media wall then. 
This is a Neuro Marquina marble, a really striking dark marble with lots of white veinage throughout. I like the fact that we have that on the hearth down below, but also surrounding this fireplace. It's a Stovax fireplace, and that's gonna keep the space really warm. Like I said, it's quite removed and much more isolated. It's not an open plan room, this, so it would heat up really quickly. A very cozy space. We've got the Sonos soundbar underneath the TV that's wall mounted, but actually underneath in this bespoke cupboard here, we have the Sonos speaker actually inside. So you've got the subwoofer in there so you don't have to look at it. And there's lots of nice airflow inside there so that the, the sound quality and the performance of the speaker operates perfectly. The dark ash, again, the wood that we've seen before in this house, all around the different layers, the tiered sections. Yeah, it's a really, really cool design this. And the brass mesh on the cupboards is a nice detail. Now, for those of you who didn't know, we've recently started creating behind the scenes vlogs here at the Luxury Home Show at every single house shoot that we go to. So if you're enjoying the content that you see, you want more, you want more behind the scenes access, you wanna see what goes into creating these episodes for you, it's a members only channel. So check the description, click the link in there to become a member. Let's carry on. So next to the lounge, we have this study. Come on through, this is known as the man cave for Andrew, somewhere he comes to not only do some work, but watch some sports. It's a lovely midnight blue, We've got these great armchairs as well, so that when you're done with your work, you can sit here and kick your feet up. We love this bench too. This really fits the aesthetic of the old kind of barn agricultural property. Now, a few functional rooms just down here. We have the toilet quite close to the entrance, so that's really handy. Finger tiles at the back that I am a massive fan of. A beautiful kind of vanity, well, mirror section with the Villaroy and Bock sanitaryware, dark ash surround. Come on through here. This is the utility space a space that every home needs, a lot of room in here, loads and loads of storage, washer and dryer, sink just there, a view out to the front, but let's, let's show you this view. So we have side access through here and we can really, really feel the countryside now, can't we? Little preview for what's to come. You can see a sheep up there. <laughs> We've seen lots of lambs here. Very, very cute. Right, come on back in. Now we've shown you the ground floor, it's time to head up and see some bedrooms, but we can't skip past this staircase because it's a piece of artwork in itself. Staircase was a really, really important part of the house. It's not only in the middle, but it's a two-story element. The stone staircase was detailed, every single piece. Every single piece is individual. So there's, there's probably 10, 15 drawings just for the staircase alone. It's just, such a lovely th flow through the house. You know, you come in the entrance, you see the stair, you move from one space to another, and obviously it's a, a link between ground and first floor, but staircases are really, really important. They say a lot about the style of the house. They say a lot about the people, the character, you know, whether it's really luxurious, whether it's trying, what sort of statement it's trying to make. And then it's it's also about the space. You know, it's, it's, it's a lovely two-story space that so works really well. I love the shadows being cast onto this staircase from the windows and all the light out there. Now we're on the first floor. Let's go into the principal bedroom to start with. Now this room is really spacious. It's literally from the front to the back. I think the fact that they've used some dark colors makes it feel slightly more cozy. Somewhere you wanna feel relaxed, you wanna sleep, but it makes the most of these views. The contrasting colors around these windows draws your eyes out to nature. Definitely one of the main the points of this house is the location. We've got the TV in front of the bed, armchair in the corner, lots of nice different textures, the texture wallpaper on that side, the textures on the lights. And at this side of the bedroom, you have the, the bathroom essentially. So it's not closed off, it's all one open space. And I love that personally, it's a real hotel feel. Lots of chrome features. Again, we've seen that throughout, hands grower taps. We step up onto the platform that holds this Luso bath. We've got the light marble with the, the darker veinage and this shower, oh, oh wow. This shower is actually a steam room as well. There are two benches in here. This is what you need. It's, it's a spa in your home. Incredible. Again, the dark ash is used here around the door frames, the mirrors, and then on the storage below. And this is what could have been bedroom four, but they actually chose to create this walk-in wardrobe space instead. And I'm really glad they did. This is what this principal suite needed to be complete. Again, dark ash, leather material on top, and the brown stained glass, the tinted glass, is a really nice touch. We switch the carpet now on the landing towards the two bedrooms that are over here. Nice nice change in texture under the feet. And then, so this is bedroom two, I believe. Beautiful views out here. Jazz, if you have a little look, you can see the, 
the different surfaces. So the zinc cladding there, and then the kind of corrugated iron that you'd expect to see on an agricultural roof. That is the barn section after all. Now we have the ensuite bathrooms in both bedrooms. We've got some lambs. Should we say hi to the lambs? Oh, we're locked. There. Yeah. He said like and subscribe if you couldn't understand that. Through here, we have the ensuite. As I was mentioning, we've got the vertically placed subway tiles in a, in a real burgundy, quite a deep color. It's nice when bathrooms are all different in houses. I've said this quite a lot, but I like it when, yeah, each one is individual and gives each person a bit of uniqueness to their routine, you know, to their showering. Okay, let's go on straight across. So we have another bedroom through here. The thresholds of the rooms are in that dark ash wood. I love the headboard here. Bespoke headboard in a real like velvet feel. Super soft, has that luxury hotel vibe to it. And then just around the corner, we actually have the ensuite through here. Nice and pink, same sort of tiles. Perfect. Now let's meet you down in the garden to show you the house from the back one more time. The connectivity between indoor and outdoors here is immaculate we've got outdoor dining spaces under the cover so you can use it all year round and i like how the the flooring actually continues from the inside to the outside super seamlessly all the lines even match up so we're going to step down now and show you the garden from the back it's a fairly low maintenance garden something that was important to andrew and liz was to not go away on holiday and then come back with a garden that hadn't been maintained so this is perfect for them beautifully landscaped and the wall is reclaimed ashlar. At least the majority of the wall is reclaimed ashlar from the existing cottages. You can sort of see where it becomes brand new, you know, but it's, it's nice that they're using all of the old materials really in keeping with the surrounding houses. So we've got a little gate here, access is out, so you can go on beautiful walks. And we've got a nice hot tub, again, under the cover of a pergola this time. So yeah, use it literally all year round. Now, come on over here, because we're not finished yet. This is a feature that every home needs in their garden, if you can, an outdoor barbecue kitchen. This is perfect. So you can grill up some burgers, some, some nice sausages, some burgers in the summer, hopefully not lambs, because that might not be too friendly with the neighbors over there. <laughs> um, but yeah, stainless steel, nice industrial you know, style. And then we have the pizza oven here too. This is something you don't see too much, but something I think is gonna become more and more common Nothing quite like a home-baked pizza fresh from your garden while you're looking at all the wildlife. Now remember, if you have a luxury home to show, if you've got a home that's for sale, you wanna showcase your work, you're an interior designer, reach out to us. We love showcasing incredible properties and we'd love to show yours too. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Have we found the best tiny home? Hidden here in the mountains and overlooking the fjords and forests of Norway, could this possibly be the best location that we've seen so far on the channel? I suppose it's up for you to decide, so let's rewind to the start of our journey to the wood nest.